I hired a caregiver to stay with my mom while I'm at work. My mother becomes mean and aggressive towards the caregiver when she tries to get her ready in the morning. Like mom yells at her to get out and may even try to slap her away. It is a daily struggle and the caregiver is ready to quit. I can't be with my mom every single minute and I don't know what to do. Tina, it's time to wake up. Let's go to the bathroom to clean up. Let's get out of bed. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to get ready. Oh, come on, not again. Please don't give me a hard time. Your bed is wet. You need to wash up. It's 9 a.m. It's time for your breakfast and medication. I don't feel like it. I don't need your help. Stop it and calm down. Don't touch me. How dare you telling me what to do? I don't need your help. I am just doing my job. Let's get ready for the day. I don't need you. Get out of my house and leave me alone. People can become aggressive for many reasons. It may be an expression of pain, fear, frustration, depression, or anger. People with dementia may not understand what you're asking them to do and become frustrated. They may genuinely not understand what they need to do something, like take a pill or bathe. Aggression usually isn't personal, although it certainly feels that way. Reacting to aggression with anger, shock, or yelling only escalates the situation. First, de-escalate the situation by behaving calmly. Identify yourself if you need to. It's possible that your loved one does not recognize you. Speak to the emotions that might underlie the aggression. It could be fear, pain, or frustration. Use distraction, encouragement, reassurance, and try to be flexible if someone is being uncooperative and angry. Good morning, Tina. This is Jane, your caregiver. Your breakfast is ready. Would you like to eat downstairs? I like my bed. I, I uh, want to stay here. You can bring my breakfast here in bed. I can do that. I, I see that your bed is wet, though. I would like to make your bed so you can rest comfortably. Meanwhile, would you like to eat at the dining table? No. I, I want to have my food here in bed. OK. How about if you eat right over here, just while I make your bed? <sighs> OK. OK. Fine. <laughs> Here are a few tips on how to respond to aggressive language and behavior. Keep it simple, one instruction or question at a time. Don't escalate tensions by being bossy or yelling. Instead, use a calming tone of voice, but do not be condescending. Provide reassurance. Let your loved one know you're there for support. Keep your body language positive and use calming gestures and gentle touch. Give ample time. Redirect or give ample time and space for cooling off and reattempt later. Remain safe. Back away slowly if the behavior is threatening. Remove or lock away all weapons like guns and knives. Call 911 if physical aggression cannot be redirected and your loved one is a danger to themselves and or others. 